Okay, hello class. My name is Carolina Bello, and I'm currently a first year first grade teacher at Donner Springs Elementary School. Um, and as a first year teacher, I've learned that some of my strengths is being um, accepting and being culturally sensitive to others' beliefs and belief systems and their cultures. Um, that's something that I've learned quickly. Um, I have a class full of, uh, I have a class of 21 students and all 21 students come from different backgrounds, different um, different uh, home environments, and just are very different. No two, not, no two of my students are alike. So I need to be. So I've learned that I need to be sensitive to um, to their to their beliefs and what when they come into the classroom that um, I don't show any preference or show any bias towards one over the other. Um, this is something that we've done. This is something that's been very prevalent, um, especially with the holidays. I have a few students that don't celebrate certain holidays, and I just need to, and I've learned to be culturally sensitive and aware, um, not to push, um, not to push anything that makes them uncomfortable, and to respect their belief system. One um, disposition that I believe I need to work on is being able to self-reflect and taking the time to actually self-reflect. I've um, sometimes get so caught up caught up with the day that I at the end of the day that I don't sit down and reflect on the good reflecting on the good and the bad and what and how I can improve the areas um, the bad or the areas that I need to improve on and um, I've also had two observations performed already two formal observations by my by the one of the administrators here at my school um, I've used those observations to sit down and reflect on what I'm doing well and what I'm doing not so well. Um, I've taken every, I've taken both observation and sat down. Those are those are the two times that I've sat down and actually looked at what I'm doing good and what I need to improve on or what do I need to change in my teaching style. So just moving forward, I think formal observations are a great way to sit down and really reflect with your administrator on what you're doing good and what you're doing bad. But I think as a teacher, you need to celebrate the good and reflect on a day-to-day -day basis or on a week on a weekly basis to to see how your week went or how your day went and see what needs to be improved on and what needs to um, or what what you're doing well um, touching base on um, being culturally sensitive um, like I said I have students come from all different backgrounds in my classroom and I've learned that I need, I need to get to know these students on a personal level and need to know where what it is that um, where where they come from, I need to understand that no two no two students are alike, and I can't have this expectation that you know the students are going to learn with you know one teaching method. I um, have to, have to often do. I've done intervention groups with the students and with some of my students, and um, just teaching them in different ways and pulling them in small group and working with them one on one, um, just to really meet their learning needs. And I think as I move forward, I'm going to learn so much and hopefully become stronger at the stronger at the other dispositions listed. And really, um, really, my goal is to be to be to become a better self reflector and reflect on um, on the good and the bad. So thank you for your time.